Hello everybody, my name is Vinicius Garmatz. I work for IBM as a design and architect for Maximo and today we are going to talk about one of the latest enhancements in the uh, new Maximo inspection module which is really intended to improve the, the adherency of this new inspection capability to your business process because every customer, every industry wants to do, uh, wants to do something different based on these inspection results and this is actually what this is intended to do so every time that we are talking about actions uh, in maximal we are actually talking about automation scripts and these are actually supported in 7609 using what we call the non-user interactive in other words those automation scripts that runs in an object and attribute level will run anyway, no matter if you, you select to use them or not. But what we introduced really was what we call the user interactive. So using security, using <coughs> existing scripts, you'll be able really to associate these kind of action scripts to our inspection forms and define actually what we will do with them once you complete these inspections. So let's go to the manage inspection forms so you can really see how they are presented. So I have really one of my inspection forms and I'm gonna show you what we did actually to define in my inspection form what actually requires an action. So if you remember this vehicle inspection form here, I have a section created interior exterior a set of items to check and each one of these items requires an individual response so let's really pretend that this requires immediate action uh, really needs the inspector to do something and and that something uh, based on this individual response can be uh, from a simple notification to the inspector that he needs to do something so or really toggling uh, these uh, required action to yes. In other words, every time that I select this response, uh, that message will be presented and my automation script can check on that setting to really define what is going to happen. So here it's going to list all the automation scripts that I have available for my inspection results and out of the box we'll be delivering one script to create a work order. Uh, for scheduled or non-scheduled inspections and really for each one of these items that I have selected as uh, a failed item in my inspection form a follow-up work order or a task is going to be created so this uh, entire set of steps is actually defined uh, as part of my automation script that is really checking on that individual response uh, to see if things require action and then really creating a work order or a task inside the same work order. So these scripts are something that we are actually planning to help you doing those as well as to publish examples in our asset management wiki. So out of the box we are just delivering one so at any time any new scenario that you might need a different script just let me know and I'll be glad to help you and also publish this template for you in our asset management wiki. So right now, let me really create uh, one scheduled inspection for one of my cars <coughs> and really perform this inspection. So the first item, okay, let me select this bad item here and this message as I defined it in my inspection form is now being presented. So any work order will have to be created. The second one might require attention. This one is okay. This requires attention. And for everything that really requires attention, once I complete my inspection, I have really the ability now to take an action. And they, that action is actually the scripts that I have associated to my inspection form. Actions and batch actions. Remember that now in 761, you can actually perform a multiple inspection report. So batch actions is actually the same, but it's going to be performed for all inspection results that are part of this report. Or I can simply take individual actions 
and see what happens. So for this example, based on the logic that I built in that automation script, a work order was actually created. And for each one of the items that failed or required action in my inspection form, I'm adding those as tasks to that same work order. So 1205, if I go to my work order tracking application, 1205, you will see that I have my work order associated to the same asset, which now contains three uh, tasks to fix. So at any point in time, if I come to my completed inspections, I select my previous inspection result, you see the message that were presented to the end user, as well as the summary of actions that were taken uh, for these individual results. So that's what I have to share with you today. Thanks for spending the time. Uh, at any time, any questions, any help that you might need setting up those scripts for specific needs that you might have, just let me know and I'll be glad really to, to help you. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.